the deep sea canoe vision. Seeing one air flood, I saw a flood flowing down a valley, but there was no rain. And the water was crystal clear, bluish in color. It came to a concrete dam and started to fill up the valley. When the dam was fully spilled over the brink, and then turned into mist or cloud and began to float out, seeing to our cloud. A map of the world came onto the scene and I saw the cloud floating from the Solomon Islands to Australia and back to the Solomon Islands. Then it floated to the east and around the South Pacific and back to the Solomon Islands the second time. Then the third time it floated around the South Pacific as far as Tahiti and back to Papua New Guinea. Scene 3 From Papua New Guinea I saw a three-pronged current or stream resembling the effect of a speedboat but without a boat. It headed east towards the Americas. When it hit the west coast of the USA, it separated. The left prong headed north towards the North Pole. The right prong turned south and headed towards the South Pole. And the center stream continued straight on towards the East Coast. When it reached the East Coast, it turned around 180 degrees and then linking with the other two streams from north to south, it became a great tsunami and headed westward covering everything within its path. The tsunami rolled over the Americas and then the Pacific and then over the whole of Asia. When it got to the Indian Ocean, the southern tip of the tsunami curved around and went and stopped in the Arabian Gulf. The northern wind kept rolling over Europe and then curved around the continent of Africa until it reached South Africa and then it curved around until it linked up with the southern tip that had been waiting in the Arabian Gulf forming a perfect circle with Jerusalem at the center. Then the tsunami from every side zoomed in towards Jerusalem. When it hit Jerusalem, it shot into the skies like a great pillar of water. When it reached deep into the heavens, it opened up like a mushroom into the most beautiful cloud formation one could ever imagine and spread out until it engulfed the whole earth. Then a voice called out from the cloud, The glory of the Lord shall cover the earth as the waters cover the sea.